please. Tell me this is not an art exhibit. I've actually never loved myself more because this makes me feel so satisfied. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kavya, if you're new here. I have been trying to film this exact video for like two years. Um, I've just always had the idea and I never got around to doing it, but today was the day, guys. Today was the day. My what I eat in a week slash Trader Joe's haul, what I buy at Trader Joe's video. If you know me, you know that I'm a huge Trader Joe's fan. I've been shopping there ever since I started living alone. So for the past four or five years, honestly, but during the pandemic, I was eating meals that my mom cooked every day, which was a blessing. But the downside of that is I literally forgot how to go grocery shopping. I already get anxiety when I'm going grocery shopping. I have like major ADHD at the grocery store. In LA, Trader Joe's is very crowded compared to how it was in Athens, Georgia. So things are different, things are different, but we're learning to be adults. Because this is my first grocery haul in this apartment, I definitely stocked up. I got a little bit of extra stuff. I would say typically on a normal week, my groceries are anywhere between 60 to $80, but this week it was like 120. Also, I took everything out of my fridge so that I could show it to you. Um, so some of it is melting for one, two. That is also why a lot of things are half eaten. All right, um, yes, this is a very bougie egg container, but I wanted everything to be super organized in this apartment. All the clear containers that you're gonna see in this video are from Home Goods and Marshalls. In the mornings, I like to do egg whites sometimes. For the most part, I like to poach my eggs and do them over like bowls or on their own or on a sandwich, whatever it might be. So this is called the Melodious Blend. It has beans, green lentils, tomatoes, olive oil. Just really easy to cook with some rice and then like any protein. This is red, yellow, and green bell pepper. Okay, don't judge me because I know this is a lot of like packaged food, but these are all my personal favorites. I've tried a lot of frozen foods from Trader Joe's and these are my staples, like I get them every single time. So starting off, we have the vegetable samosas. I love these, they remind me of home. They're very nostalgic for me. Eating Indian food actually makes me feel better and I'm very homesick. So yeah, I will be making Indian food and learning how to make all of my favorite foods. This I actually haven't tried before. This is the Thai sweet chili veggie burger. I've just heard really good things about it. You guys know the deal with these. These are the soup dumplings. They went viral on like TikTok. But these are, I got the chicken flavor and I also got the pork and ginger flavor. I usually don't eat pig or pork, but I only like them really in dumplings. I'm not picky, I just don't really like meat that much. And even when I do eat meat, I usually only eat seafood. Like I'm not really a big chicken and like meaty tasting meat person, if that makes any sense. But these I really like. This, quinoa cowboy veggie burger. These have been a staple in my life for five years. I'm obsessed with these. I eat these all the time. They're so easy to cook. They're just like with an egg or two and some avocado and ketchup or sriracha. So good. Like this is one of my favorite things. Boring, but we have some organic brown rice, also a staple for me. I really should probably just like boil rice, but this is super easy for me. and. One packet comes out to like three days. And then obviously, green tea mochis. I actually hadn't tried the green tea flavor before. I've had the purple, like the ube flavor, and I've had mango, but these are really good. Obviously, I ate one last night. And next up, this cauliflower gnocchi. A lot of people hate this. If you don't like it, it's because you just don't know how to make it. But the secret to it is like either popping it in an air fryer or you can cook it in a pan just with a very small amount of water. Do not follow the instructions on the box. Just maybe I'll drop a recipe or something soon. You know, living alone is very difficult, especially if you don't have that many friends or a partner. It can be really difficult. So the most important thing is finding ways to keep yourself occupied. Like investing in yourself, learning new skills, all of that. One of the challenges that I've come up with myself for this new chapter of life is learning to make one new dish every single week. So I want to be, I'm actually a really good chef. The only thing is I don't, I can't just like come up with stuff in my head. Like I need to have a recipe, but if I have a recipe, I'm really good at following directions. Like it just comes very naturally to me. 
So this week I wanted to try the spicy vodka pasta. I think it's like Gigi Hadid's recipe, but I've heard really good things. So I got the ingredients for that. We have onion, fresh tomatoes. We also got some canned tomatoes. I think the recipe you need canned tomatoes, but maybe I'll use the actual tomatoes for something else. They'll come in handy. Butter, my mom put me on this. It's the Kerrygold Irish butter. I still need to get the vodka and the heavy whipping cream. I don't drink alcohol, so I just couldn't justify spending money on a giant bottle of vodka. So I may substitute it for like something acidic, maybe lemon juice or something. We'll see, we'll see. I'm probably gonna make two batches, both of them in different ways and then figure out which one tastes better. So this week I decided to try this like Mediterranean salad. The ingredients are Kalamata olives, the tomatoes that you saw earlier, these herbs de Provence, thyme, savory, rosemary, basil, sage, lavender, feta cheese, where's the feta cheese? Feta cheese and cucumbers. So all you do is, I think I just have to dice up all the ingredients, add lemon juice, salt, pepper, and my little herbs and it's gonna be a delicious like lunch side for dinner so i think i'm gonna actually make that like soon next up my literal babies we have all my trader joe's tea this is the ginger turmeric herbal tea probably my favorite for like evening time it's very relaxing green tea this is a staple in the mornings i always do lemon water or green tea it's one or the other sometimes together and then the peppermint herbal tea i'm not a huge fan a peppermint tea but i heard that it's really good for like cramping and if you have anxiety and things like that at this point if someone tells me peppermint tea is going to cure my anxiety then i'm going to be drinking gallons of peppermint tea every day look how cute they are lemons this is my number one consumed food probably of my life use at least one lemon a day i know that i moved to california and maybe i'm committing treason by saying this I love avocados, but I feel like I've kind of grown out of the whole avocado obsession phase. Two for a week, honestly, hopefully I don't waste this, but I'm thinking if I do have extra at the end of the week, I'll just make a face mask with it. Strawberries, blueberries, obviously, duh. Organic rice cakes, this is one of my go-to breakfasts. Unsweetened almond milk. I don't really drink coffee, so this is mostly gonna be used for green smoothies. I know a lot of people are like anti-dairy, not me, okay, not me. Greek yogurt, it's very, very good for you. My mom like gives us buttermilk every single day. So I wanted to keep with that. I'm gonna make myself buttermilk. Also, one of my favorite snacks when I'm in a pinch is just Greek yogurt with honey. It's so satisfying to me for some reason. If you add some almond butter and strawberries and like granola, like that's a whole breakfast, you know? Um, I haven't tried these yet. This is the Mighty Turmeric Juice Shot and this is the No Joke Ginger Juice Shot. I have a feeling that I'm probably gonna like the ginger one because I like the burn, you know. Call me a masochist. Trader Joe's Almond Butter is also my favorite brand of almond butter. I hate the Costco one. This is the best one. So next up, we have the Shelled Edamame. This is one of my favorite things to buy. I make these sushi roll bowls. I don't really have all the ingredients for it right now, so for this week, it's just more of a snack, but. One of my favorite foods. I do try to limit myself with edamame because I read somewhere a long time ago about soybeans not being good for like women or estrogen levels. I don't really remember the scientific details of it, but I try not to overconsume like soy milk and soybeans, but I do love them. One of my favorite foods. We have baby spinach. Self-explanatory. Use it for smoothies. Use it for eggs. Use it for pasta, lots of stuff. These are Trader Joe's whole wheat pita pockets, obsessed. Okay, so to go with the pita pockets, this is my favorite flavor of Trader Joe's hummus. It's a roasted red pepper hummus. A lot of people would disagree with me, but this is my favorite. And this is the balela, which is like a, I think, a savory Middle Eastern salad with chickpeas, tomatoes, and black beans. These with the pita and some cucumbers, salt, pepper, lemon, like, don't even talk to me, so good. This is a hearty minestrone soup from Trader Joe's. I haven't tried this before. I think I was just craving soup last night, but I love minestrone soup. Hopefully it's good. I will let you know if it is. So I got some low sodium soy sauce and this, my favorite ingredient of all time, sweet chili sauce. So this is a staple for me. Like I go through bottles of this, bottles of this. 
but it's also a really good ingredient for making your own sauces. I love to mix these two, add a little bit of sriracha, and then it's like the perfect dipping sauce for sushi and dumplings and everything. This is another thing I haven't tried before, some Mediterranean style orzo pasta salad with spinach and sun-dried tomatoes. Sounds really good, could be a really good side for like sandwiches and stuff this week. Okay, and last but not least, I wanted to show you all of my little packaged foods that I have, basically my snacks this week. I already had one of these today. It's this pumpkin walks into a bar. I had to get something seasonal, you know? We're balling on a budget, not that I'm living this California lifestyle. I can't just buy fall things for funsies. Like, I need to actually buy stuff that I'm gonna eat, not just buy stuff because it looks cute and because it's fall themed. Um, yeah, maybe next year. I also got this peanut butter protein granola. This is necessary. I also got this, obviously I ate a lot of this too. Sweet and sweet, savory and tart Trek mix. It has way too many peanuts in it. I'm not getting this again because I like more almonds and cashews, but those trail mixes are usually more expensive, but eh, mm, it's okay. I'm not loving it. I love Whole Foods trail mixes. Those are my favorite. Fun fact about me, every time I go to Trader Joe's, I get some variety of the pretzel slims just so that I can conveniently eat them in my car on the way home. Usually I get the everything but the bagel one, but yesterday I was having a sweet tooth, so I got the dark chocolate ones. So good. The only problem is in the LA heat, like my hands were covered in chocolate by the time I got home, but still. I'm saving my favorite for last because this is my new favorite thing from Trader Joe's ever, like ever. I, if you don't like these, we cannot be friends. These are the chili spiced mangoes. When I tell you like this, this, this hits every single spot for me. Like it hits every single spot for me. And I forgot to show you guys this because it's kind of boring, but it's just olive oil, coconut oil spray, and avocado oil spray. That's all I have. I'm not really gonna be cooking with peanut oil, canola oil, because you know, we're trying to be healthy, healthy queens, even though I definitely need to get like peanut oil for flavor. Leave it to me to literally film the most simple YouTube video ever and forget to do an outro. So here I am now editing, literally in the same outfit, drinking the peppermint tea that I showed you in my haul. Um, but yeah, I forgot to say bye. So here I am. I love you all. I am so thankful that you guys watched this video. I know I have gotten a lot of questions about what it is that I eat in a week. So I think this is a good little insight. Obviously every week I really eat different things. I like a little bit of variety. So I'll probably be doing more videos like this in the future and I hope to do some recipes and stuff because I want to definitely get more into cooking and finding my specialties, things like that. So make sure that you're following me on Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Twitter, all that good stuff. My name is Kavi Kiwi on everything and stay tuned for the Goddess Pod podcast. I am recording an episode tonight, which means that the episode should be out literally this week.